In the 1975 film Rollerball, the collision of sport and society takes center stage, presenting a dystopian future where corporations control every aspect of life, including a violent and globally popular sport called Rollerball. As the story unfolds, James Caan delivers a compelling performance as the lead character, navigating a world where individuality is challenged by a system seeking conformity. Reflecting on the enduring qualities of this film, its portrayal of a society dominated by corporate interests remains relevant, highlighting themes of control, power, and the erosion of personal freedom. The movie's commentary on the manipulation of media and the suppression of individuality strikes a chord that transcends its original release, making it an enduring symbol of the industry's ability to reflect societal concerns. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? Or what enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Rollerball, directed by Norman Jewison, is set in a dystopian future dominated by corporations where individualism is suppressed. The film follows Jonathan E., a star player in the brutal sport of rollerball, a combination of roller derby, motorcycling, and handball. As Jonathan rises in fame, the corporations aim to quell his influence and the sport's rebellious spirit by altering its rules. Jonathan resists, seeking the truth behind the sport's purposefully obscured violence and control. With symbolic depth, the movie explores themes of corporate control, the erosion of individuality, and the resilience of the human spirit. James Caan's portrayal of Jonathan E. stands out capturing the character's internal conflict amidst the chaos. The film's unique blend of action, social commentary, and dystopian aesthetics left an enduring impact, resonating with audiences and influencing subsequent sci-fi films. Its depiction of a society controlled by corporations remains relevant, making Rollerball a thought-provoking and enduring classic in the science fiction genre. In the making of the 1975 movie Rollerball, an interesting choice impacted the film's appearance. Many extras were paid an additional wage to cut their fashionably long hair. This decision aimed to detach the film's look from the era it was made in. It was an effort to create a setting in 2018 without aligning the movie too closely with the fashion or style of the time. This attention to detail in the appearance of the characters helped to establish a futuristic world without dating the film to its production period. The film's commitment to creating a distinctive atmosphere by altering the appearance of the extra speaks to the dedication to portraying a believable and immersive dystopian future. Exterior shots in the 1975 movie Rollerball feature the Energy Corporation building, but they are not what they seem. They are actually the corporate headquarters of BMW in Munich, West Germany. A bowl-shaped library building showcased is the old BMW Museum, a mere few steps from the headquarters entrance. This surprising revelation about the filming locations adds an intriguing layer to the movie's setting. Norman Jewison, the film's director, drew inspiration from Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. This influence is evident in Rollerball through repetitive zooms, classical music, and the use of modern concrete and glass architecture. Moreover, Rollerball stands as one of the pioneering films to include stunt performers' names in the final credits. This move recognized the contributions of these performers to the movie's action sequences, a step that later became more common in the film industry. His unique behind-the-scenes details about Rollerball's filming locations and directorial influences shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship and innovative choices that shaped the movie's visual and creative aspects. The 1975 movie Rollerball showcases intense sports action set in a dystopian future. Before rule changes, the game's record already held a staggering nine deaths out of 24 players. The film's final scene mirrors Rockle Welch's Kansas City Bomber, both culminating in a triumphant skate around the ring, cheered by chanting crowds. Interestingly, the crowd scenes in Rollerball utilized sounds recorded from an Arkansas TCU basketball game in Fayetteville, Arkansas. These details underscore the film's immersive world and the eerie parallels in its climax, revealing fascinating insights into its production. Norman Jewison, the director behind the 1975 movie Rollerball, aimed to convey an anti-violence message through the film. 
However, the intense action of the rollerball game sequences resonated deeply with audiences, sparking discussions about forming rollerball leagues post-release. This unforeseen response conflicted with Jewison's intent, as he intended the film to stand as a cautionary tale against violence. James Kahn's casting as Jonathan E. was a deliberate choice by Jewison, inspired by Kahn's portrayal of real-life Chicago Bears running back Brian Piccolo in the TV film Brian Saw. Additionally, during the Tokyo-Houston game depicted in the movie, Tokyo fans can be heard chanting Ganbear, Tokyo, which translates to do your best, Tokyo. This insight into the unintended popularity of Rollerball's action sequences and the deliberate casting choice sheds light on Jewison's initial vision and the unexpected reception of the film. William Harrison penned the original short story Rollerball Murder for Esquire magazine in 1973, later adapting it into the screenplay for the film. This story laid the groundwork for the dystopian world dominated by corporations and the brutal sport of Rollerball. The film's roots in Harrison's narrative underscore its exploration of corporate control and the erosion of individuality. The adaptation process transformed Harrison's vision into a cinematic portrayal that delves into the themes of rebellion, control, and the resilience of the human spirit. The narrative evolution from short story to screenplay highlights the depth and complexity underlying the movie's portrayal of a futuristic society controlled by corporate forces. The pistol used to incinerate pine trees during the corporate soiree in the film was a Ruger Standard .22 caliber target pistol from 1949, modified to look futuristic. While Jonathan E. S. last name is never explicitly mentioned, a dialogue hints at it being Evans. Contrary to rumors, no fatalities occurred during stunts, but there were serious injuries needing hospitalization. These lesser-known details shed light on the film's attention to detail, subtle character hints, and the safety challenges faced during its production. The rollerball game sequences, filmed in the basketball hall of the Summer Olympics 1972 at West Park in Munich, West Germany, were pivotal in creating the intense sporting atmosphere of the film. This unique choice of location allowed the production to utilize the arena's nearly circular footprint, enabling them to transform and dress it to depict various cities' rollerball rinks. Additionally, the shot sequence preceding the New York game incorporated iconic landmarks like the Palacio da Alvarada in Brasilia, Brazil, the Congresso Nacional, the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome, Italy, and the skyline of Lower Manhattan, New York. These deliberate filming choices not only added visual depth to the movie, but also established a global and futuristic ambience. The selection of these diverse locations and the adaptation of the basketball hall showcased the meticulous effort behind crafting Rollerball's immersive world, ultimately enhancing the film's portrayal of a dystopian society dominated by corporate-driven sport and control. As the curtain draws on our rollerball retrospective, I urge you to take a moment, a reflective pause, to delve into the depths of your memories and emotions evoked by this iconic 1975 movie. Did it resonate with your ideals, challenge your beliefs, or spark a fire of nostalgia for a bygone era? Perhaps it was the thrilling blend of sport and societal commentary that left an indelible mark on your mind. Or maybe the character's struggles and triumphs mirrored your own life's journey. Whatever the connection, the beauty lies in its personal significance to each of us. I invite you to share your thoughts, your anecdotes, your cherished moments from Rollerball. Let your voice join this symphony of diverse perspectives, creating a mosaic of experiences that further enriches the legacy of this cinematic gem. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey. Your engagement and passion breathe life into these timeless tales. Until we meet again for another rendezvous with the past, keep the memories close and the stories alive.